I don't think anybody could miss it. In most of my videos, there's some indication of it. Value, an understanding of value based on the sentient experience. Things that don't feel don't create value. Things that feel create value. And the only way something in the universe could have value is in some way it has to implicate things that can feel. I mean, if it's threatening things that can't feel, like if a if an asteroid's threatening to crash into a planet that doesn't have anything alive on it, and it can change no feeling thing's destiny by crashing into the planet, then it can't mean anything that it crashes into the planet. Like if two galaxies collide and all this stuff smashes and radiation, yeah, it all doesn't matter unless there's something that could go, this really hurts, stop, stop, stop. If that can't happen, then there's no consequence, there's no value created. There's no value implication. So all value is derived through sentient experience. Sentient experience can be easily understood as being on a scale. It doesn't matter whether you put a zero in there or not. I think there's obviously a zero. There's a decidedly negative and a decidedly not really negative. The point is, is that we know that they're relative. That there's one that's better than another. Or there's a feeling that's lesser than another. And so automatically you have value created here. You have a value scale. You could say that something's a lesser state. And as soon as it can be in a lesser state, you could say there's a ethical imperative to elevate the state. That's what ethics would be devoted to if you are following me so far. I mean, if you've accepted what I've said so far as being the premise and logical, then the next logical step would be to say that there's absolute morality because we can say that yes, there's absolutely a difference between feeling this way and feeling that way. And on a scale, they're different. They're either less negative or more positive. They're more something than the other thing. The feelings are qualitatively different. We can say that kind of objectively and absolutely, that there's a qualitative difference. Now, you can disbelieve that, but I'm saying that there's no rational way I don't think you can do that. Our personal experience tells us that. There's no evidence saying that our personal experience is stupid or non-receptive to reality. That's not <laughs> true that these feelings are different and that they are on a scale of good and bad or better or worse. I don't think that can be argued with. So you're an idiot if you're a moral nihilist or an ethical nihilist. Conscious states are intrinsically valuable. They create value. They generate it. Um, that's just a fact, I think. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, telephone. How charming.